What's up you guys? What's really really good? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey as a black guy. If you've never been here before, but if you have, hi girl. Today we're going to be talking about my one year update on my second rhinoplasty. So if you've been here for a long time, you know that I have had two rhinoplasties. The first one, I got it done in Los Mochis, Sinaloa, which is where I'm from. And that came with its own complications. So then I got a revision rhinoplasty in Monterrey, Nuevo Leon with the board certified rhinoplasty specialist, one of the best in the game. So it has been a year, you guys. So I don't know, I'm not sure when I'm posting this video, but if it's posted on November 17th, then it is exactly a year to date. And if not, it's basically been a year. I want to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly because I have had a lot of questions asking me if I think it was worth it, if I like my nose job still, if it came with any complications, if it's just like a perfect nose job and nothing was ever wrong with it. Like I have had so many questions about it. So I wanted to put this video here so that you can, you guys can have kind of like an ending to the story because I feel like if you've been watching me for a long time, cuando me operé la nariz, hubo tantas cosas que pasaron that I just feels like it's been such a long journey and it's still not even done. So let's talk about it. Before we get into the nose job video though, I want to talk to you guys about our Black Friday special for Apolaka Jewel. So if you don't know, Apolaka Jewel is my jewelry line and it is my baby. And this Black Friday, we're going to be having a 40% off to Patreon members and a 25% off to the regular public. So if you would like to join Patreon, you can click the link down below to join and get 40% off of the whole website. That is the biggest percentage that I have ever given you guys. It is a huge amount off and the Patreon membership does come with a monthly fee, but you can join it, get the 40% off, and you don't have to join it back again if that's something you don't like. So just really quick to show you guys some of the pieces that are gonna be dropping. We have this Hasta el Cielo bracelet. We have this cute stainless steel so it can be wet bracelet. I haven't taken it off since I got it on. We have this Virgin Mary necklace that I absolutely love. We also have this stainless steel so it can be wet, great quality bangle. So this is going to be the only silver piece that is available. It's also going to be available in gold for you guys. So if you would like to join Patreon, make sure you click the first link down below so that you can be the first to shop for 40% off for Black Friday. Okay guys, so now let's finally talk about my nose job. First of all, let's give a round of applause to her. She is absolutely beautiful. This is what my nose looks like one year after getting my second rhinoplasty. If you guys haven't seen the videos on why I decided to get a second rhinoplasty, let me just catch you up real quick. The first time that I got my nose done, I got it done with a surgeon that was like an overall surgeon. Like he does boobs, he does BBLs, he does facelifts, he does nose jobs, he does a little bit of everything, right? When I first got my nose done, I didn't know that the nose is such a hard surgery because you need to breathe out of it, right? So it's not only about the way it looks, but it's also about the way that it functions. So if I could give anybody a tip, I've said it again, but I'll say it again. I mean, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. Make sure that if you're gonna get your nose done, above all, go with the rhinoplasty specialist. Go with the doctor who's done more noses than anything else because if you go with the general surgeon, you run the risk of not having the best results like I did. The first nose job came out really crooked. My nose literally looked like the letter C and it was a little bit hard for me to breathe out of it. When you saw my first nose job, it literally didn't even look like I got a nose job. So first of all, my original nose had a little hump right here. Well, in my first nose job, he did shave off that hump, but he still left me with the bulbous tip, which means a really big round tip right so i lived with that nose job for about two years until i decided that you know what it was enough i wanted to get a second nose job i wanted to better my breathing and more than anything i wanted it to look like the nose fit my face about a year and a half ago i found my second surgeon he is a rhinoplasty specialist he's in monterrey Nuevo leon which is in mexico and he is one of the best when it comes to nose jobs, you guys. He literally does about three nose jobs a day. So that already made me feel so much more comfortable because I was like, I'm gonna go with somebody whose literally main job is to just do noses. 
eso me dio mucha paz porque a mí se me hace que, o sea, cuando vas con un doctor que lo hace todo, literal lo hace todo, pero no es experto en una cosa. I had a consultation with him and first of all, he was he makes sure that you're getting a nose job done because he can make improvements. So if you already had a nose job and you go to him and you're like, I just don't like this first nose job, he's not gonna do it. Like there has to be something wrong with your first nose job in order for you to be taken by him as a client. So no es así de que entras y de que ay si sí, no me gusta y si sí, me voy a operar. No, no nomás es no nomás es por looks. He has to see something that he can actually better. I had my surgery. The clinic is beautiful. Uh, everything is super clean. He's super detailed. He is one on one. He is making sure that he sees you before the surgery. He made me feel very very comfortable, right? So I got my nose job, I had my recovery, and then three weeks after I had my nose job, I get COVID. Oh my goodness, I literally couldn't have came at a worse time. Obviously, nobody ever wants to get COVID. Cancelar en el nombre de Jesús, que ninguno de nosotros nos deja más, right? Still don't know enough about COVID to know what the long-term side effects of it are. When I went through it, no me enfermé mucho, o sea, sí me enfermé, and I was like laying in bed for two weeks, and I felt really tired, but I never had a lot of mucus like i never had a lot of i never had to like be no me tuve que estar sonando la nariz which to me was great because i was like okay like my nose is fine i'm not touching it a lot even though i have covid and this may like hinder my progress or my recovery i'm not having to mess with my nose a lot which was like a big concern for me I recover from it my nose is still healing it's still swollen but i'm on the road to recovery four months after my nose job i ended up going to urgent care because out of nowhere my nose swelled up like a balloon literal players o sea se me veía enorme this little nose that you guys see it literally looked like a big old ball and i immediately contacted my doctor in monterrey and him and all of his team were like what are you taking what are you doing you need to be taking these medicines this is what you need to be doing so i went to urgent care here he told me it could be that you got an infection because of anything that you might have going on in your nose so what my doctor from mexico did is he immediately got me antibiotics and he got me a shot in which makes the swelling go down right away when i asked my surgeon why he thought that happened he says that there was no logical explanation for it and he says that he believed that it might have been a side effect of covid as of course as your body is recovering and everything's getting back into place your body tries to see where there's injury and then it swells up the injuries to try and make them heal faster i was really scared because i was like oh my god like i am afraid that i'm gonna have long-term side effects from this nose job and that i may have long-term side effects from covid and like that this could happen at any point right so it's been eight months since then my nose hasn't swelled up again thankfully everything's been going great with it however one of the things that recently started happening about like three months ago you guys is that i wasn't able to breathe through my nose oh my god oh my god now yes i can say oh my god que negativa eres o sea pura negatividad contigo but let me tell you guys a nose job or any plastic surgery it's not just like you just go in you get it done and everything's perfect i think social media has made it seem like surgery is nothing and that you can literally walk in and in a week you're fine but i want to give you guys the most realistic expectations and i want to let you know that you may have to deal with these things for the long term so you have to think really well before you go under the knife about three months ago i started realizing that i couldn't really breathe through my nose like First, one side would be clogged, then the other side would be clogged, and no matter how much I would try to sonarme la nariz, no sé cómo se dice en inglés, pero no importa cuánto trataba de sonarme la nariz, I could never clear my airway. I was getting so frustrated, and I was like, okay, it's probably just, like, you know how sometimes that happens, it's, it's not a big deal, and then I would try to sleep on my side, and then I couldn't breathe, I would try to sleep on my other side, and then I couldn't breathe. You guys, I went as far as putting little breathing strips on top of my nose, so it could open up my airway and those worked for a little bit until eventually my airway started getting blocked even if i was wearing those breathing strips it was so frustrating i hated it like i could never predict when i was gonna be mormada and when i wasn't and even now i'm sure you guys could hear it a little bit que ando un poquito mormada. i contacted my surgeon and i was like doctor que pedo porque está pasando esto no entiendo no puedo respirar and he told me you know what it's gonna be one of two things you're either A, have allergies, or B, we made your nose too small. 
When I tell you that he told me that he might have made my nose too small, I literally wanted to cry. You guys, yo ya me he operado la nariz dos veces y no me la quiero operar una tercera vez. That is the last thing I want to do. Porque quieras o no, el operarte viene con mucha responsabilidad and having to recover and having to put my life on pause so that I could get a third nose job was just not something I was willing to do. My surgeon told me that there's a procedure he could do in which he goes in there and he like does something to make my allergies go away. I don't really know what it is. And I was like, you know what? If that's gonna cure this and it's gonna make me be able to breathe, I'm down, I will do it. Let's do it. Now, because my doctor is in Monterrey, Nuevo León, I haven't had time or the opportunity to go see him. So what I decided to do was I started taking allergy medication, which is like some nasal sprays that I take. And that has been able to go maintain it for a little bit. So that's been helping me maintain the issue while I go to get that little procedure that he said done. Now, I don't think he made my nose too small because when I do take the allergy medication, I'm able to breathe fine. Gracias a Dios, which may seem so silly to some of you guys, pero cuando pasaste tres meses sin poder respirar, se los juro, se los juro, se los juro, que el poder respirar, aunque sea con medicina, is life changing, you guys. Now we're at this point in which it has been a year, those complications have happened, and the question is, do I still like my nose job? Do I still think it was worth it? Do I regret it at all? Yes, I still like my nose job. Yes, I think it was worth it. No, I don't regret it. However, I want to make sure that all of you know that getting a nose job comes with its complications and that a nose job is never going to be perfect. No matter what you see on social media, no matter what influencers show you, no matter how perfect their noses may seem, you guys, Literally, there's so many things that can go wrong with the nose job and I haven't met one single rhinoplasty patient that has said that their nose is perfect. I literally went to a nose job specialist and there was still complications within my nose job and I'm gonna be transparent about it because as much as I love my nose job and as much as I love my doctor and as happy as I am with the results, I wanna be 100% transparent with you guys. First of all, my nose is still crooked. It's a lot straighter than it was the first time, but my surgeon told me from the beginning. Él fue muy honesto conmigo y él me dijo, te voy a ser sincera, si puedo mejorar tu nariz, but I don't think I can make it 100% straight. So I went into the surgery knowing that this was something that might not have been able to be achieved. So I wanna show you guys. So from the naked eye, it looks like it's straight, especially because I'm wearing contour, but if it were 100% straight, and now this is me being picky, so I am happy with the results, but we're showing all the extra, all the extra little details for the sake of the video. So this is what my nose looks like. If it was 100% straight, it would be like this. <laughs> I know it seems so minor, and you guys are gonna be like, bitch, are you kidding me? Ya sé, o sea, no me juzguen y créanme cuando les digo, yo soy feliz con mi nariz y yo estoy contenta y se me hace que it's a lot straighter than I had it before, so I'm happy. For the sake of the video, I'm being extra about it. There's still a slight curve at the end, a slight curve at the tip, and that's not something I'm willing to go into a third surgery for. I am content with my nose. The second point is something that I wish was different, but it's not, okay? In the inside of my nose, there is a stitch that was left. So when they close your nose job, well, first of all, when you have a nose job, they do the incision here. And then when they close it, they put all the stitches here, right? When they took the stitches off, the nurses at my doctor's office who took my stitches off left this little stitch right there. You can literally see it right there, which has now been covered by skin and it has caused me trouble time and time again because I continuously have to be so, 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 so careful with that stitch. Es como una cortadita que todavía está ahí y que no se puede curar because the stitch won't let it heal. So what my skin started to do, it, it, my skin started to grow over the stitch, which now left that little ball right there. If you watch my vlogs, I'm sure you've seen it because when I'm editing it, when I'm editing my vlogs, I see it y se los juro que me duele el alma. O sea, I wish it wasn't there. 
But again, because my surgeon is in Monterrey, Mexico, I can't go and get it removed like ASAP, right? With all this being said, I still think my nose job was worth it. I still love my surgeon. I would, I would go to him all over again. Now, the thing is, I do have to go back to him, number one, so that he can do that procedure that helps with allergies, and number two, so that they can remove this stitch que ahora está enterrada sobre la piel. I have to be honest and tell you guys that not every surgery case is perfect and that sometimes you are gonna have to deal with the aftermath of these things. Now, I do wanna say, the fact that I had COVID three weeks after my nose job may have something to do with these allergies and may have something to do with the fact that my nose swelled up but the truth of the matter is we'll never know the only thing we can do now is deal with the consequences so i hope this video was helpful to somebody if you're thinking about getting a nose job if you had a nose job and you are unhappy with your results I want to let you know that hope is still out there i know exactly what it's like to be so sad with your results because i hated my first nose job my first nose job literally made me so 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 sad this second nose job is a lot better. It's not perfect because the only person that can make a perfect nose is God. Yes, I'm in. Um, so you give and you take, right? And that's the same thing for all surgeries, you guys. I want to emphasize that I think influencers have made it seem like surgeries are so easy. You can literally go in, get something done, and walk out and be super happy with it. But se los vuelvo a decir, yo quiero ser completamente honesta con ustedes y les quiero decir que muchas veces ese no es el caso, pero la gente no los comparte. People don't share that. I do love my nose job. It has come with its complications, but true, two things can be true at once. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember, if you want to get 40% off for Apple Like a Jewel, you can click the first link down below to join Patreon. More details are coming up about that, you guys. Las quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios me las bendiga. Quierete mucho. Respetate más. Leave any questions about the nose job down below. That's going to be it for me. Las quiero mucho. Ya dije eso. Me llamo Stacey Zapodaca. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.